Joining me in studio today is EHS Support Chief Technical Officer Nigel Golding to discuss the company's definitive agreement with Prime Africa. Hi, Nigel. Hi. Please, can you provide some background into this agreement with Prime Africa? Yeah, back in 2013, we were looking at opportunities to move into the uh, South African marketplace. And through a series of evaluations of companies, we identified Prime Africa as a good partner for our company, as an entry point into the marketplace. The key things that we were looking at was a company with a similar culture to ours in the marketplace, a niche provider of services, but also some services that would support our existing offerings in the marketplace, primarily their strength in economic and ecological evaluations. When did this agreement take place? The agre agreement took place in October of 2013. We entered into a verbal agreement, and that agreement was finalised in March of 2014 between both of the parties. And we've been working within the framework of that agreement over the last couple of months on a number of opportunities. Okay. And what are your hopes for um, the company following this agreement? What EHS supports really trying to do is to develop a market presence in South Africa so we can service our existing clients both from the US and Australia, but also look for new opportunities with South African companies as well as companies throughout the African continent. And what are some of the energy developments in South Africa that local companies can take advantage of? Really the energy developments in this country are in their infancy in terms of the onshore assets, but some of the key opportunities that are available for small companies out here, or South African entities as well, is really around provision of some of the ancillary services that will be required both in the early phases of exploration and appraisal and ultimately in the development of the project. So there's great opportunities in terms of road infrastructure, water infrastructure, and some of the other support services, accommodation, waste, etc. That was EHS Support Chief Technical Officer Nigel Golding.